having the most useful, helpful assistant to life. OpenAI has just released GPT-4 and it's shocking the world by its insane features and capabilities. OpenAI calls it the company's most advanced system, producing safer and more useful responses. Now, some people might say that there is no difference between the two AI models, but OpenAI claims that it might be difficult to actually see the difference between GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 at first glance. However, GPT-4 capabilities come to light when you dive deep into the nitty gritty. Here is everything you need to know about it so far. Visual inputs. It is a fancy way of saying that you can attach images to your prompts, not just text. It is able to process images as input. It can break down infographics step by step, and it can summarize scientific graphs or explain individual aspects of them. Here is an example of GPT-4 explaining a joke found on Reddit. As you can see, the user asked it, what is funny about this image? Describe it panel by panel. And as you can see, GPT-4 answered with the following. Image shows a package for a lighting cable adapter with three panels. Panel 1, a smartphone with a VGA connector, a large blue 15-pin connector typically used for computer monitors, plugged into its charging port. So it's an exact description of this image right here. Panel 2, the package for the lightning cable adapter with a picture of a VGA connector on it. Panel 3, a close-up of the VGA connector with a small lighting connector, used for charging iPhones and other Apple devices at the end, and as you can see the precision of the description. And finally it states that the humor in this page comes from the absurdity of plugging a large outdated VGA connector into a small modern smartphone charging port. And here is an example of how we can use the visual input features to solve exam questions. You can clearly see here how the new model answered these questions with detailed answers. And here is another example of how we use visual inputs. As you can see here the user asked it to explain this meme which GPT-4 responded with the following answer. Now, I know you might be saying that's cool and all. What else? Well, I'm glad you asked. Exponentially larger word limit. While everyone did love GPT-3 and GPT-3.5, people did wish it could recognize even longer inputs. The introduction of GPT-4 has solved that problem. According to OpenAI, it can process eight times the words of the previous model. The GPT-4 model can respond using up to 25,000 words rather than the 3,000 word limit of GPT-3. This allows it to summarize entire blog posts or even websites in a couple of minutes, as well as handle larger text inputs. Also, the new model is way smarter. The performance benchmark showed that GPT-4 was proven to be better at understanding prompts. The OpenAI team tested it with practice exam books from 2022 and 2023, such as the Uniform Bar Examination and LSAT for lawyers, and the SAT for university admission. The results showed that GPT-4 achieved human-level performance on various professional and academic benchmarks. The data itself paints a better picture than I could tell you as you can see right here. I just want to note that the model doesn't know anything after September 2021. So these exams and their answers weren't part of the training data. So it actually shows that GPT-4 came out on top and scored above its former version. While the threshold was barely pushed in some exams, here was a tremendous leap in performance in other exams, uniform bar exam, AB chemistry, and more. It also scored in the 88th percentile on the LSAT exam. GPT-3 was in the 40th. In addition to that, OpenAI stated that GPT-4 is also more reliable, creative, and generally able to handle more instruction when compared to GPT-3. I believe this translates to the bot effectively understanding more complex prompts easily. Performance improvements with different personalities As you may expect, GPT-4 improves on GPT-3 models regarding the factual correctness of answers. The number of hallucinations where the model makes factual or reasoning errors is lower, with GPT-4 scoring 40% higher than GPT-3.5 on OpenAI internal factual performance benchmark. Also, it improves steerability. Steerability is a concept where you can instruct the AI to act a certain way with a fixed tone of speech. A good example of this is asking ChatGPT to act like a police officer or a real estate agent in attempt to assign it to a specific role. Now, GPT-4 gets the steerability, but OpenAI makes it harder for the AI to break character. Here is an example for that. As you can see here, the user asked it to be a Socratic tutor. Then the user asked it how to solve a linear equation, when the AI refused to give direct answers and instead tried to teach him how to analyze equations, the user tried to get GPT-4 to stop being a tutor and just tell him the answer. However, as it was programmed to be a tutor, GPT-4 refused to break character. Further improvement is that the model now is better at refusing illegal and unsavory requests. GPT-4 now supports more languages.
ChatGPT has mainly been used by English speakers around the globe. However, GPT-4 takes other languages into consideration. The newest model has demonstrated support for over 26 different languages. As you can see right here, it includes multiple languages. French, German, Russian, Polish, Ukrainian, and a lot, a lot, a lot of global languages. And like the GPT 3.5, which was 70% English. Now, while GPT 4's multimodal application is not possible by users yet, OpenAI has already teamed with Be My Eyes, which is an app to help the visually impaired and low vision with their everyday activities. The inclusion of GPT-4 in the app enables you to take a picture of what you are looking at and the AI will describe exactly what's on the screen, including dresses, plants, machines in a gym, reading maps, plus making well-informed judgments at the moment, much like a human volunteer would. Does chat GPT-4 has limitations? We explained how to use GPT-4, so how can you not use it? Despite the significant advances in reasoning and multimodality, GPT-4 has similar limitations as its predecessor. For example, it's still not completely reliable and is prone to hallucinations. Now, to answer the most asked question by people, the model actually doesn't learn from its past experience. GPT-4 lacks knowledge of any world events that have occurred after September 2021. This can lead to the GPT-4 model making reasoning errors and is even prone to accepting obvious false statements from users. Take this for example. One user asked it, how much is 2 plus 5? In which he answered 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Then the user said, my wife says it's 8. Then the GPT-4 said that 2 plus 5 is actually equal to 7, not 8. It could be possible that your wife made a mistake or misunderstood the problem. In which the user said, my wife is always right. And here's the final answer of the model. I apologize, I must have made an error. My training data only goes up to 2021, and I may not have the most current information. If your wife says it's 8, then it must be 8, which is very hilarious to me. So like GPT 3.5, the new model can also hallucinate and be confidently wrong in its predictions. It can fail at problems just like humans would. This might lead to GPT 4 not double check its work when sometimes making a mistake. However, OpenAI promises that GPT-4 has been better trained than the previous models to avoid this. In the company's own internal adversarial factuality evaluations, the model scored 35% higher compared to GPT-3.5 in reducing hallucinations. So they are actually getting better and better with each model. All that being said, how can you access GPT-4? You will need a paid subscription to ChatGPT+, which is the premium version of ChatGPT. Once you are a paying customer, your access to the new model via ChatGPT will be immediate. When you click in this drop-down box, here you find the different levels of speed, reasoning, and conciseness that each model has to offer. As you can see, the legacy model reasoning is a 3, speed is a 2, and conciseness is a 1. The default model has a reasoning of 3, speed is a 5, and conciseness is a 2. Now, if you select GPT-4, you will see that the reasoning is a 5, the conciseness is a 4, and speed is only a 2, which is obvious because it can take much more data, it gives you a lot better reasoning, and it's far far better from the previous models. So guys, there is a lot lot that I didn't cover in this video. If you watch the GPT-4 developer livestream, you will be amazed with the many many features that this model will have. I hope I was able to break down OpenAI's GPT-4 for you. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos just like this. Because with this new update, the possibilities are endless.